Yeah, we do have this wonderful opportunity in August. Actually, August 21st is the date when there's going to be a, a total solar eclipse across the United States. I'm Brian Green, professor of physics and mathematics at Columbia University and co-founder of the World Science Festival. So that's kind of rare. Oftentimes these eclipses don't happen over populated areas. You have to go in the middle of the ocean or someplace far away, but we have a real opportunity to experience one of the great wonders of nature. And yeah, there are fun things that you might want to do during a solar eclipse. You can actually, if you're very ambitious, set up your own version of the measurement of the deflection of starlight by the sun, which was carried out during the solar eclipse of 1919 to confirm the general theory of relativity. Using relatively inexpensive, off-the-shelf equipment, well, augmented a little bit, you could actually carry out a version of that experiment and probably get answers that are more accurate than the ones that were obtained back in 1919. You know, another thing that you can do a little less ambitious, you could time, just time, the duration of the solar eclipse and compare it to predictions, right? That's what science is all about. You make predictions, you do a measurement, and you compare the two, and, and citizens can, can actually do that. Now, if you ask me what you should really be doing during the solar eclipse, just take it in. It is one of the most amazing experiences. That's what I tell you. I've never, I've never experienced what I've read about people. It's a transcendent experience. Just go out and experience one of the great wonders of the universe.